mind. I'm not sure what these guys are doing. Looks like they might be trying to flee. No, they're regrouping. And the Desert Warriors looks like appear as if they're trying to engage in some kind of ridiculous flanking maneuver. However, I will counter their maneuver by grabbing a handful of cavalry and throwing them at these guys. I also got some who I believe don't have any bayonets on their on their guns. No, they don't, and they don't have. I'm pretty sure these guys don't have uh, square formation either. And they're also gonna contend with this group of line infantry and my light gorillas that happen to be hanging out in the, in the woods here. Oh, shit, they're coming. They're, they're pretty much bringing and throwing everything they got out into this uh, a field assault here. I'm gonna move these guys out until they get, they get killed. But here comes, uh, here comes the horses. And there go the desert warriors. the cavalry out from uh, from hiding here. I don't want to bring the generals out. I don't want to risk them. Because uh, more lancers are coming in. Well, they are getting hammered by some, some of my troops. The Desert Warriors are making a break for it. I'll the rest of my troops uh, slam into their cavalry from behind. Uh, that's what she said. Anyway, um... Got some more armed populace on the field, but looks like those that attacked have either routed or fled back into the city. Mostly routed. But here comes my cavalry to hit them from behind. Hit these lancers from behind, and it's not looking so good. For these guys. Yeah, there you go. So, looks like they basically all have moved back into the, uh... Into the center here. I'm just gonna have all my men come over the walls, because the thing is, I don't want to have them engage in a small, um, go through a small hole when we've got Gurkhas here, and which legend tells me these guys are badass mofos, these Gurkhas. They're apparently Nepali mercenaries that are some of the most world renowned. Actually, random aside, I happen to know a guy from Nepal, he lives on dorm here. His name is Shushant. Really cool guy, and I believe he actually watches these videos. So if you're watching Shushan, you actually get a call out for being from Nepal. But anyway, he was telling me about about the Gurkhas and apparently how they're just like revered in the uh, in the world, and how apparently the British Army never took them over. They only like uh, they 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 never like actually invaded them and conquered them. They just kind of made a deal with them that uh, they would serve as as British mercenaries, but they ne were never actually conquered by them. But yeah, apparently these guys are really good. Well, uh, end of the <laughs> long story short, these guys kick ass. There you go. I believe you can only get them in the special edition too, so yeah, they're quite fearsome. But let's see how they're able to manage up to the metal of Spanish line infantry. Because most most of these guys have died. setting up for a mass frontal assault on their walls. Uh, looks like they're actually trying to come through the gates. We can't have that. Um, one, one, if it went, you know, one man behind to, to deal with them as they would come through. Coming out of the gates to sally forth. 
unfortunately, uh, they're just armed populace and they have muskets and bayonets waiting, waiting for them eagerly. Looks like we're actually going to have to call off part of the frontal assault. Some of these guys will still make it over. They'll still make it on top, but the rest of these guys, some of them are going to have to help quell this, uh, this charge here. So it looks like these guys are ready to just fire, lay, lay fire down these guys' backs. Yeah, these guys are routing. a volley, volley to the backs, wavering, routing, and yeah, they're just gonna run straight into a wall of Spanish infantry, and they just got massacred, they, they, it's just a bloodbath for these armed populace, few escaped, 27, but yeah, I don't have time to track them down. Oh shit, here come the Gorkas. Dealing with with trying to fight some of the line infantry on the walls and they're, they're, my guys are losing considering uh, they're in no position to fight these guys with, uh, with bayonets. And it's kind of like this really epic and convoluted battle here. I have no idea what's going on. My other news, it just looks like the uh, Looks like their Baron Guard infantry were just wasted. Absolutely wasted. All the rest of these guys get up on the walls here. Shit. They're, they're firing at their own walls. They're trying to destroy their own walls. Uh, face of desperation. Alright, the rest of the guys, I, I, I own the gate, so the rest of these guys just may as well move through. Oh no! Oh no! An epic turn of events! Several Spaniards were killed. They were killed when the wall collapsed. Oh god. Oh god. Things did not turn out for very well there. Things kind of, uh, that was a shit show right there. Alright, let's get what's left. Let's get what's left off the walls and through the gates. I saw it coming, but I just couldn't do anything in time. So let's get... Let's regroup what we can. For this final assault. How are my guys doing against the Gorkas? They're getting raped. And have these guys going behind. Alright, let's take what other... Little line if we try to have left and move it through the gates. Yeah, now we're gonna, they're gonna fire at the Gorkas. Oh shit, they keep having them stuck in melee combat. They're gonna get the attacked by the Gorkas. Apparently, they're actually winning slightly because the Gorkas are very tired. 
Oh shit! My god. Right, a little of the force remains is, is hurt badly. However, we're still in a pretty good position to, to win this battle handily. As the rest of my, my line of to try and move in through the gate. Looks like we might actually uh, defeat these Gorkas. After all, because they're, they're exhausted compared to my men, so they can't fight too well anymore. <laughs> 